All right, the new trailer for Frozen 2 has come out and it's fantastic and I want to talk about it. Of course, let's go all the way back here and start from the beginning. So right off the bat, I think this is awesome. This is going to be super weird. Why? Because of those bars. I can draw fantastic straight lines, can't I? This is an A plus here. Uh, but anyway, in Switzerland, we didn't have the pan and scan thing where it would crop in with that resolution and then pan around to give us, you know, the, the different edges. So if you watch Ghost Bosses, for instance, it's a total weird tangent. But at the beginning, when they walk in for their first thing, you only see a few of those uh, Ghost Bosses walking in. Uh, I think Winston is cut out in the pan and scan version. But anyway, in Switzerland, it was always like this. So for me, the letterbox, the black bars always means better quality so this is a weird weird way to open this but i just wanted to say that it's awesome that i see those bars i know it's super weird but let's continue here with this and one of the things that that struck me in this trailer was that in the original in the first one original <laughs> in the first one it's basically this is kind of the world and then where they go towards at the end and the world felt kind of small still very cool actually i like the movie a lot but it felt kind of small this far, far away far away not this shows us more this felt more like what we saw before but the world has expanded i think this is very very cool as north as we can go i'm gonna bring this sound down a bit because who knows copyrights and all those things i might even just take that sound completely off maybe so here is the world we are familiar with this i'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit for myself here because a copyright things youtube stuff with music but so i can hear myself but all right so i was already with animation and a super cute moment here but this is cool this actually reminds me of something that we talk about in class a lot in terms of cycles is it okay to have cycles on your reel and the thing is my answer is always why not it really depends what you're shooting for especially if it's for uh, game stuff you know depending on your gameplay animation all kinds of things but what's cool to me is that if you look at her arm right you got your walk through here but she has that moment of bringing out that arm a bit more stretched out here on the side and then getting ready for a jump and kind of looking at this here. So what I mean by this is that if you do have a cycle, I think it always behooves you, for some reason I always say behoove lately, I like that word, um, to tweak it a bit, right? You have a little bit of a change for contrast, so it's not so cycly, and it adds something that's a bit more of interest and a bit more contrast. Yeah, I think this is a great opportunity. And then, you know, if you have other cycles uh, and you want to populate your shot with something, then you can have something like this, and that's absolutely valid. And again, I'm looking at Armit's costumes. It's already different. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's so cute. A lot of the shots are very short in this trailer, but it is still cool to see little cutie pie Disney uh, younglings. I like how they're animated. They're also super cute. I like the, the focus there. It's that character moves the most, even though this character has the arm going back. I'm not really distracted by anything it's very clear where to look oh, the lighting is cool too i'm just already massively smitten by everything that's cool and i like that this goes into as it says here a magical place and i'm totally on board with this having this getting into the more uh fantasy magical realm i mean we had trolls and things before but still Cool too. Look at that. Cool look too with the lighting. I know we're nerding out on things that you're seeing as well, but I just like the expansion of the characters and where we are. And a lot of effects in this trailer too. Cool stuff there. I'm looking at cycles. This is where you're another thing of where if you have cycles, right? One way to show them off could be something where now you might not want to do effects, but you could have, let's say, a bigger creature some whatever creature that you want to do or a dragon or something and then all those cycles you did you can put in as they're you know fleeing as they should from this massive creature and that will be one way to show off your cycle but it's not just a cycle that we just show from you know front and side on your reel but it's part of the shot and it's just part of something where they're fleeing and there's a purpose to them running or walking off that's cool that reminds me of something that i just saw that i can't talk about that's cool this to me would be an interesting thing of a, it's almost like a weight assignment. <laughs> like you're pushing against something weighty and showing the force of the wind. It's cool. Also interesting to see contrast, right? One arm here facing like this. Here's one arm with the shield like that. Both arms like this. So kind of the same ideas, but all contrasting and different. 
very cool. Though. And you can see also the timing in this, how this character goes, whoop, whoop, has that bigger drop there. So even on something, I mean, who knows how long the shot is in the movie, but even on something, let's pretend short, you still want contrast. You want, you don't just want to hit this pose and go kak, 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 as he goes back. It's that little slip there, always a little bit of contrast. And it's mainly on this guy because he's also centered. So probably the chances are people are going to look at this guy the most. More effects. Oh, I love this. This is the first thing I went, oh, this is so cute. I love this. I love that. You know, you can tell the loving sisters and they're they're used to contact and there's just the, the, the friendship and the sisterhood there. It's just so cute and the cute designs. A little offset asymmetry on that mouth, but I love that little thing here. <sighs> so cute. Again, very short shots. Logo! This is cute too, in a way, where I'm just reading the things here, but you have, hold on, I can scrub it faster, where she is resting on the shoulder, and then as we go older here, whoop, now it's the opposite. But that's always something I always recommend to the students, contact points. A lot of times, contact points or just people who interact, and it's like a fight or something where someone punches, that could be just a weird tangent here but not that you should punch her but it would be like a one or two frame contract contact if at all depending but to me interaction like this is much more impressive to see because it's very hard to do and it's depending on your tools it might be or a huge pain to do that but it's always interesting to see and potentially more interesting um, in terms of skill sets to show off again very short shots but i will look at this as a student or just for myself as well when when you start off right and you're still looking at how how are my blinks working how should i blink i would always go and look at shots like these and track like how is the ease in how long do they compress how much do we see the eyes the pupils the, the white in the eyes how long is the ease in here you can see how long this is with a little bit of relaxation at the end a little bit of eye dart there just just cool reference for a normal blink and this could be loving you know this is not something where someone is panicky so you can kind of write down all right loving or admiring or comforting these are kind of the blinks not saying that you should copy this and frame by frame and you put this always in your shots but to me this is a good study where you can write down how did they do how do professionals do this what what is the look for this and then go from there and that could be your starting point and of course you tweak it depending on your shot of course again very very short shots this would be your get up assignment. <laughs> yeah, it's not much to see here. Short. Same thing here. Like this would be a tricky thing for your reel, right? Not saying that this is not well animated, other stuff and good offset pose and everything, but this on your reel is tricky because there's not much going on. You do, I like that character too. This is a cool example here for your the accents. Watch this. This is also something that I constantly harp. Uh, in class and I annoy my students just if you do your you know the classic thing is you do your body animation and at the end you do your lip sync and a lot of times you can feel like your body's doing one thing and the lip sync is just copy pasted and I'm always a massive fan of head accents if you watch my channel uh, you, must, uh, you must be sick of this by now but I love head accents and I like this watch watch the amount of head accents just during this short moment it's just where it feels like the words she's saying coming out of her mouth, the jaw, everything is connected. There is just, it feels like she is actually saying those words. It doesn't feel just the copy pasted uh, lip sync, which is cool. Love all this here, this is cool. This is something interesting uh, as a test shot or as an assignment in class where you have a character, but then you have outside forces interacting and pushing and influencing the character and it could be something like even a bouncing ball with little wings or something or something very easy to animate it doesn't have to be all the crazy particles and you can't do effects but it's interesting to see this here that could be something that you could do for your shots as well that's cool oh love the shot come on that looks cool i also love that little reflection here of the moon just giving that nice silhouette because of the uh, the darkness with the brightness behind this well, again, lots of effects in the shot uh, in this in this trail already. Let's see here, here you can see a bit of a uh, it cuts up before. It's going to say an interesting look at if you have something where a character reacts, your arcs going back. You have a bit of a moving hold, but it cuts out. I'm going to see that and look at the frames for moving holds. 
this would be a good reference for your your head turn. A bit of a head squash. You can see a certain shape here and that. Definitely a squash into a stretch here. You can see the difference here. It's almost like she gets hit over the head here. But you can see, you can track arcs, squash and stretch, reactions just on a head turn. How there are changes in the fingers, shoulders, arms. Same thing here. It's not just the head going down, but there are changes. Even though it's minimal, you can see it in the fingers, shoulders as well, and the hands. Same on this guy. You just can see that every frame counts here. And again, as a student, it's all important to look at and to study. More effects. Always a big fan when you see parts of cities with lots of people. Um, where it's, it just feels like the world is populated and it's big and the people are actually there. Same thing here. This would be your, your influence uh, assignment or something pushes the other creature. You can see your stretchy legs. And creatures. You can never discount creatures. This is also cool to see how there's the drag in the head. Even though the force is here, it is a squishy animal to some degree. And you can see how much the head weights until it goes forward. And then the react, same thing here. This goes down and this has a bit of a drag. And then the drop. It's cool to see. So it's just the whole thing here. <laughs> I like that too, little thing at the end. And whoop. Oh, nice. You can see that little change in the face right there before the cut. Ah, see, that to me is cool too. Again, you have walk cycles. Like your shot could be this. Character concerned couple steps turning around so all very complex animations it's not easy to do and this could be you could have fire in the foreground or whatever you have where the character goes away and it's kind of like your panicky body mechanics pantomime shot but if you have other stuff like like i said walk cycles populate your shot with these guys and you can even kind of play with depth of field and blur that out so it, you don't scrutinize foot plants and things but this would then make it more of a an interesting shot to me where it's more shot related in terms of it's not an exercise but it's mainly about this character and you add some other interests and you add your walk cycles or run cycles or whatever to populate the shot it's giving this a bit more of a cinematic look and to me also if you apply for a company showing i can think in terms of you know a production shot and not just an exercise where it's an empty room and a character in an empty scene doing something which of course has its place it's not saying it's completely horrible and useless but i think this could be a cool example here how to use that again outside force it's cool i love all that stuff here again see how it influences creatures differently humans and creatures love him it's cool again lots of short shots <laughs> cute this would be a good uh reference uh frame for contrast of posing they all have to be somewhat different Yeah, we're in trailer lands where everything is very short. But at this point, I'm going into the cool textures, the lighting, the look of it. Very cool. Interesting. Three fingers. But still, you can see the contrast in the finger poses. From Disney. Yeah, again, very short. This is cool, though. I'm always a big fan of switching into 2D or fake 2D. the up and down and the arcs in the head again it's just cool to study how just a step how you have the accents in the head how the body works look at that even like the shoulders people always forget the shoulders to some degree love that little up in her and she goes back here with the shoulders it's just cool to see all the details also reacting right you have other characters in your scene she says something boom right away reaction Start processing what she is doing, and then you got the anticipation with the eyebrows before she goes, Haha, wait a minute. No, no, no. Ooh, cool. Getting uh, Dark Crystal vibes. I just love that show. So, everything now where I see fantasy style stuff with Lord of the Ringsy things, I love it. Whoa, cool. also cool frame. Again, dark and the light silhouettes just for staging. Interesting to see. Ooh, that's cool. Sorry, this whole trail is going to be me going, ooh. <laughs> love the colors, but I love this. Ooh. I know, like I said. I was looking at, in terms of animation, interesting things of contact points, change of posing, how she leans in. It's just interesting. All that stuff, I just, I don't know. I just have to say, I love animation. All that stuff excites me. The squishiness, the jaw, you see the shapes. 
I love all that stuff. It's so cool. It's so cool. That's cool too. More effects. Cool reveal. Again, all the changes, even on something like this, where technically the focus is on this. Don't forget these guys. Change the arms, the steps. Short shots. Wall. The silent framing through the things I'm just looking at. Her steps. Always details. The hand poses. The looks. The focus. So wall. Always a fan. Like that change of costume. We saw these guys before. But this is good to see for. Full extension on the jump and on the land. You don't want to land with your legs uh, bent like this. It's going to be brutal for your knees. You want to cushion this. Stretch frame. Bam. And you can see here, as the root comes down, that's the legs are stopping the root from, from going further down. But the momentum is still there. And the rest goes down, finishing in the head. And then the recovery. And because she is somewhat off balance, taking a step forward. All seems simple if you just frame it out like that, but it's cool. It's essential to make the weight work and the mechanics. Different type of landing there too. This is cute too. Again, I'm looking always in terms of a shot that you could do, right? Where let's say you have a character and it's totally different from the other character. This could be a creature uh, or something weird like a snowman or something. And the other character and you animate this. Now, I'm a big fan of cutting things off like this where it's just there to support this and by support i mean he's scared and wants to go behind her for protection that to me is the main focus but you can still have another character in your scene that is just slightly animated again not too much there you still have post changes in the fingers you don't need to see the face but again it just adds something a little bit of a camera move just makes this an interesting shot and it's all about the face and the emotions so this could be your pantomime shot and it's not just one character and you have all of this to support that it's cool Some background stuff. I'm looking as always on hand poses. Always my eye on IK arms. Looking at how much elbow change you have and how much does that influence the hands. Yeah, it's a tricky thing. You're getting into IK. I would assume IK where you have the wrist like this. And as it goes down, the wrist is still bent like that. This is always very difficult to animate where you would have to. Rotate that wrist down and then adjust the fingers frame by frame to adjust that grip. It's a tricky thing to do. Of course, I'm not going to be sitting here critiquing Disney animators. <laughs> oh, I love that. Let me there. Oh, I love this. Perfect here. This would be my shot, meaning I would animate something, but he would never get out of this. The effects would always hide everything that he animated. <laughs> that would be so much out. Also tricky to do, a stand to a walk, just to change it so you can see that big twist in the hips and that turn. Do a very nice clear hand pose where something like this on a further away shot turns into, I don't know what those scribbles are telling me. It's this triangle pose that you have. So nicely silhouetted by color here. Very cool. I'm getting very Lord of the Rings vibes here. But cool, again, the expansion of characters in the world. That's a cool model too. Yeah, it's a cool new set of characters and the looks and the costumes. Back to short shots. Oh, and then here. Love this. This was So basically, when I was watching this, I mean, everything is great. But I had a bigger reaction to this. It's like, oh, that's super cute. And then, when this happens... Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Love that. that The rhythm and the swing of this. Phew, I love how she does. Oh, look at that. Oh, line of action and that holds. The hold on that pose. Boom, coming down. Of course, I'm looking at the effects and the lining too. It's so cool. The drag on the hair. And this, the super clear silhouette. I love the... Almost the relaxedness and the confidence of those steps. So cool. I'm so in. So in. 
November? That's way too long. Way too long. We need it now. Cool. Oh, yeah. And then this was the other part of my answer. Holy moly. I love this. Really giving me a Lord of the Rings right here. But look at this. Oh, love that. Just the look of this. Like, oh, that's cool. With the water. I love all this. Definitely Lord of the Rings. You would have a ginormous foot here. <laughs> but it's a cool look. And I love the color contrast, too, between this. Then we intercut with this. Oh, goes back to you should always have creatures in your demo rail. I'll be doing a uh, potential a lecture, uh, potentially a lecture about creatures at CTN. Spoilers! Maybe not announced yet. Maybe, maybe not happening. But I'll be talking about stuff like this. Why that's vital. Oh, this is a cute design too. Cute. Yeah, something else where creature is on a hand would slightly animate this but then the focus is obviously on this that's a cute design too look at that the squishiness of the face speaking of, speaking of face look at that little stretch there you can see how the eyebrows drag the face gets stretched just a bit we got that boom brows go down with the hair yeah trail of land towards the end now you get only short shots Ooh, but come on you gotta frame through this Cool. Cool seeing the effect interaction there. All that. And by all that, that means nothing. Someone's listening to this. All that. I just like all of this here. You can see here again the squash and the stretch into the and then a pose with the stretch on the on the uh, shoulders going down, coming back up. Very cool. Even here you can see the stretch here, the face. And how the nose comes back up, relaxing the face muscles there and the structure of the face a bit. A little anticipation there. Foot going down and pull. The drag there. It's cool too. You can really feel it because of the extension of his arms. Pull and then bring that thing over. The thing. So I mean, this was in a previous trail. This always cracked me up to how quickly she gets grabbed here. <laughs> that should be dragging eyeballs here. Crush ribcage. So we're here looking at the details for facial shapes, asymmetry, the squishiness of corners. Like don't go from a from an inner mouth shape to an extension where it just kind of locks. You can see a bit of a curvature and then uh, an arc and the squishiness there. Very detailed stuff there. Holding your F's, you don't want your F's over one frame. Fire, long, long take on fire here. It's very cool. Don't forget your secondary characters. Those have some long eyelashes. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to the past. Ooh, more effects. Love it. I just love the look of this. Yes, that would be me. But my shot wouldn't be this. It would cut in here. <laughs> and it would be maybe maybe on a generous day that would be me but that's the reality of working for a movie like this where you gotta animate everything all of this everything is probably animated really nicely finger stuff everything facial but then you put the effects over it speaking of which more oh that's cool i love interaction like that look at that where the smoke parts first and then envelopes the character behind her that's cool. Good to see here too. Okay, this is going to be horrible, but no political agenda here. But I see a face like this for some reason. It reminded me of this. But anyway, Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever had to animate this. But again, cool to see when you think in terms of cycle oh we've seen a nice squash there in the face where you do have to have variation even if it's just a little head turn you can just stick in a cycle you gotta have some changes there oh yeah yeah we are at the end of the trailer lots of short shots cute face though oh yes this was the thing on the teaser cool hand poses that i love this that is so cool that was super cool in the teaser too. Just posing. Look at that. Nice line there. Yes, I'm wondering what that is. That was always my thing of is she gonna go underwater to find the, uh, the boat? 
looking at facial features and mouth openings and reactions with a walk back. So you can see that's a nice look too. Lighting there. And this was the other one like, oh, they don't just sit around. Now we're headed towards awesome land. That is cool. Come on, look at this. I love that it's also obscured. That would be your more complicated cycle where you have direction change, influences behind it. That's a cool shot. So in, I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. Back to the shot, continuation of that one. That's cool too. Look at this. So look at your, your bend bows and your nice line of action and your curves. Look at that. Look at those poses. Very cool. Ooh, more effects. It's like this trail is made for me. Oh, nice. So it's cool to actually frame through and see what's happening. Like the glow. Yeah, always think about silhouettes. You got glowy outline there. Speaking again of silhouette and hand poses. Bam, you can see the impact there again. Bam, look at that. Stops here, so has to push up. Shoulder goes up. Boom, you can see how low that head is compared to the shoulder. Bam. Oh, cool. Holding breath, pushing of shapes. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that. Sorry, this whole trailer has now devolved into me just going, cool, look at that. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that. a little bit of a slide stop on the water. Oh, no, it cut out. Yes. Yes. Come on. I'm so sold. So cool. Gets on it too. This movie is bananas. Things are introducing in this movie. Frozen 2. <laughs> nice. Look at those colors. It's a beautiful frame, too. Wow, love that. Look at that frame. It's just beautifully done. <laughs> I like that with this character, you can really play with uh, disconnected shapes. And the end shot is cool too, where you got that locked on camera. It's like almost like a GoPro, really emphasizing the, the chaos and the panic. It's awesome. And then that's it, right? Yeah, remember, that is it. Holy moly, a lot of stuff, a fantastic trailer. Beautiful colors. I'm going to end this on this here. Actually, the other shot. That with a beautiful shot. Cool. All right, well, that's it. I'll leave it at that. That was my nerding out of this trailer. Um, and thanks for watching. If you're still here and watching this, and I will see you in my next clip.